Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to not suck with hogs at Town Hall 9. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and I am so excited today to bring you guys some Town Hall 9 content. I found this brand new clan called Town Hall 9 and that is exactly what they have in their clan. A whole bunch of Town Hall 9s that know what they're doing well enough for me to bring you guys strategy videos from this clan. So much content is available here guys and today we're focusing on hog riders so you cannot suck in war because who wants to suck at Town Hall 9? You know you want to bring in those three stars, and that's what we're going to help you guys do today. Remember, guys, we put out Clash of Clans videos every single day right here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for daily videos because both Macy and I want you here. She's a little rambunctious tonight, guys, so uh, we'll see how long she makes it. Now, in today's video, I have three different Hog Rider attacks for you, and they are all very different. Again, all at Town Hall 9 which is pretty darn cool guys in this one we have Wilma coming in with a mass hog strategy now it's also worth noting that everything does not go perfect in all these attacks so we could talk about how you can recover from a mistake or if those wall breakers don't actually make it to the wall what you can do type things so if you look at the composition 36 hogs we have i believe it was bowlers in the clan cast so we're gonna have to see i don't recall actually six wizards five wall breakers we have six archers 30 30 heroes and a whole bunch of heals with some poison let's hit play and see how wilma gets this one started out a veteran town hall nine got some hog riders coming down that mortar up top which is going to work out really nicely taking out one defense with two hog riders and uh from there we are waiting we have something coming in looks like an archer on that builder's hut in the west and we may get one up in the north as well the clan castle was lord with those hog riders and out of it comes a golem now why would someone put a golem in a clan castle reason it's going to severely slow down your kill squad, your queen, and your king because it takes so long to take down that golem. But it's not going to stop Wilma from pulling in the three star on this attack. We have the king coming into the base. Nice job with that poison on top of the enemy queen. And you know, I would guess that this was a fresh hit. Bringing two poison spells along, you really wouldn't need them if you knew that there was a golem in the clan castle. But one of those poisons was used right there on the enemy queen. And our king is beating on that golem, now beating on those golem mites. The, goal, the uh, king running into the base, queen is behind, taking the tankage of both the golem from our composition and from the king. So actually it was not a, uh, it was not bowlers in the clan castle, it was a golem to be used as our tank. Queen's ability is being popped right here. And notice the hog riders in mass are coming in from the northern side of the base. What needs to happen in all hog rider attacks, guys, is you need to funnel down a base, make a nice clear path for the hog riders to travel. Whether it be a C, whether it be a U, or whether it be a straight long shot through the base, so you get value out of your heal spells. If you're putting a heal spell down and only a few hogs are in this one and a few hogs are in that one, you're not getting the value that you need. You want to get all your hogs in every heal spell every time to get the most value. And you can see Wilma is doing exactly that on this attack. Final heal spell being dropped on the wizard tower. Remember, you do want to heal in areas where there can either be giant bombs or splash damage. So at Town Hall 9, wizard towers, and maybe bomb towers too. They're probably your, uh, your biggest enemies. Poison spells being dropped here to get rid of any skeletons that may be chasing the hogs or the enemy king not because it's gonna kill the king but it's gonna slow him down and have him uh, not be able to take out as many hogs at this point guys it's cleanup time once all the defenses are taken down in your base the hog riders can come through and spank the rest of the base and as you can see the hogs are doing just that we have the regular base here it's not an anti three-star design so the clan the not the clan castle the town hall is still sitting in the center and it's going to be one of the last things to come down you can see 99 percent on it right there guys and the hogs gonna make it 100 percent for wilma at town hall nine with mass hog in this one we have 15 wizards 14 hogs three golem a cc which we're going to keep a surprise for you guys 30 30 heroes two jump two heal and two poison 
Let's see what he gets done. This one, definitely a skill attack right here, guys. And the kill squad is huge. Let's see what goes down here. I mean, the hogs, they don't come in until the end of the attack. We have one golem from the west, one from the south, and I believe we're gonna get another one up by the north. We're gonna see in a moment. All the, no, it's actually down from the south. All the wizards are coming in behind the golem. Kind of like the old school avalanche attack. Now it is another golem and it is coming in from the north right there, guys. What looks to be a max level golem coming into the base or pretty close to it. Uh, King and queen coming in behind those golem. King did jump out in front for a little bit there. Poison spell on the clan castle, which was Lord, and on that enemy king. Wizards are going to come through supporting that, that uh, golem, taking down the baby dragon with help of the poison spell. Our king did go down in the center of the base. The, uh, the spawn barbarian still doing some work, but we do have golem left. And the golem are going to tank for this queen into the depths of the base. When you have the golem, you don't need the healers for the walk because the queen essentially is not being targeted on the attack because the golem is taking all that fire. And that's that's what's going on right here, guys. Notice 59% of the base taken down already before the hogs even come through. Talk about narrowing down a base, guys, like we mentioned in the last one here. The base was more than halfway taken down. Now it's a straight shot for the hogs, two heal spells to get them there, but Two jump spells were taken so that the golem and the heroes can get themselves into the base and take a bunch of stuff out. Now you don't have a lot of firepower with these hogs because there's only 14. If you take into account spring traps and things like that, you're gonna probably lose eight to 10 of your hogs. So you really don't have a ton of them, maybe more like eight than 10. So you really wanna make sure that the kill squad in phase one of the attack can take down a large percentage of a base and Toy Breaker did exactly that in this one. Now, let me tell you guys, this is an abnormally large kill squad from what you'll normally see at Town Hall 9 when you're doing hog attacks. The next attack I'm gonna share with you guys is something more typical, but this one was unique, was amazing, was maybe the biggest kill squad at Town Hall 9 I have ever seen, or close to it, but it was gorgeous and it was a great example teaching you guys how to send in your kill squad before you send in your hogs. Thanks, Toy Breaker, for that one. Let's get into the final Town Hall 9 attack strategy that can prevent you from sucking. This last attack is done by Lucy, and what we're looking at here is your standard hobo attack. You're going to have two golem, bowlers in the clan castle. You have 24 hog riders, a couple of wall breakers, some wizards, some archers, all just to clean some stuff up and maybe set a funnel. Max level heroes, rage, jump, heal, and poison spells. Let's see how this one goes right now. We got the golem coming in from down south with the wizards behind, again, setting a funnel, starting to narrow down the base right here so that phase two can be a successful phase of the attack. Notice the enemy queen is behind those walls and what you wanna try and do with the kill squad attack, guys, is you want to try and take out the hero, probably the queen, and definitely lower that clan castle. Looks like Macy's a little rambunctious right now, but we're gonna try and get her to calm down. There we go. Queen's coming through, Golem's still doing some tanking, the King is in there, and the Wizards are gonna do a lot of great work behind the King and those Golem. Bowlers, unfortunately, a few of them are walking around the base. You know what, guys? They all may be walking around the base, and this is a mistake. That right there, were those Bowlers were supposed to go into the base. Unfortunately, the Kill Squad, under Rage, they took down too much of the base ahead of them, and that had the bowlers go along the outside. But as you're gonna see, they're actually gonna do a nice job on the outside of the base because they're gonna be able to take out a whole bunch of outside structures. Now, the kill squad didn't get as deep into the base as Lucy probably would have liked, but the hogs are gonna come storm the rest of it, and with the two heal spells, they're gonna be able to push through this base. I would anticipate a heal spell going by that expo, because I'm sure Lucy is anticipating some giant bombs in there. Let's see if I'm actually right. Actually, we have some traps in there, the Tesla, but there is that heal spell and a poison spell right there, guys, as well, to get rid of those skeletons. Those skeletons are a pain in the butt for hogs to deal with. So you want to try and bring an extra poison spell around if you can. Sometimes the composition doesn't really make room for it, but if you can, an extra poison is always a great idea. Hogs just have to get through a few more defenses right here, guys, and the rest of the base is gonna be cleaned up. As you can see, cleanup has already begun with those bowlers. Hogs, they got it done right there. That is it right there, guys. Everything else in this attack right now is a, is a structure. 
not a defense. Although defenses are structures too. While this happens, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee and enjoy it. Coffee ups. Let's go. And the bowlers are now working on Town Hall. Basically, it's just all clean up from this point in time, guys. So you don't even understand how excited I am to have found this clan called Town Hall 9. Because all the clans that I cover that do competitive CWL, um, No Dip League, MLCW, all that stuff. They don't run Town Hall 9s anymore, so I can't get Town Hall 9 content for you guys. But now that I found this clan, I'm going to be able to bring you regular Town Hall 9 content because I know that so many of you are still at Town Hall 9 and want these attack strategies because you need to improve. You want to suck less at it, guys, and I totally get it. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's look at the results of this war right after we check out the stats right here. Lucy pulled in a triple with a hobo. Check it out, 100% war right there, 75 to 71 in favor of Town Hall 9. Guys, thank you so much for coming down to the video today. I appreciate it so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you didn't do it already. And if you did enjoy yourself while you're here, make sure you throw a thumbs up on the video. Always remember you can find me over on Twitter, at Echo Through Me, and uh, I, I don't know if you could tell, but the excitement is real. Town Hall 9 for you guys on the regular. Thanks so much, guys. Make sure you check out the rest of this series, my Don't Suck series, featuring all different Town Hall levels, all different troops, and all different strategies. Really excited about this series, as well as my brand new Starting Over Let's Play series, currently at Town Hall 2. And, uh, well, it's a ton of fun, guys. Very different kind of content. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you check it out. I'm going to have links to both of those above at the end of this video. Until tomorrow, or later on today, be good.